Wild nature is an endless battle between prey and predator. It is more dramatic than any event in the natural world. The struggle cannot be fiercer. It determines the life and death of all species in the fight for survival. Remarkably, predators often taste the bitterness of failure. To survive, predators must fully adapt to their own arena. Each habitat presents different challenges. This video will show you the incredible aspects of nature. Extraordinary strategies that predators use to control their prey, but even with exceptional skills, success is never guaranteed. To fill their hungry bellies, predators face countless difficulties. A female leopard stalks her prey. These feline predators have echoed their terrifying roars across the African continent. However, when in an open expanse, they have limited opportunities to catch any creature. To succeed, a leopard must close in on its prey, ideally within a few meters, before launching an attack. A favored strategy among the feline family is camouflage. Their golden, spotted coats blend seamlessly into the foliage, rendering the leopard nearly invisible to its quarry. Despite possessing large, powerful legs and sharp claws, the leopard's movements are remarkably light. Impalas are among its preferred prey. These grazing antelopes currently lie beyond the leopard's hunting range. It needs to get even closer, selecting an optimal distance of about 4 meters to execute a swift pounce. The leopard can unleash bursts of speed, but only for a brief period. It doesn't wait passively, instead, it actively seeks opportunities. Although out of sight doesn't mean out of the impala's keen senses. With its acute hearing and sensitive nose, the impala remains vigilant while grazing. Now, the prey stands on an open plain, yet the leopard still lacks an opportunity. But the elusive leopard is a renowned and adaptable hunter within the feline family. It cunningly seeks out the most concealed hiding spots. The grassy plains are an excellent ambush location. A lone impala stands close enough, but it seems too large for a solitary predator. The leopard glides past its prey silently, opting for a more manageable target. If the impala detects its plan, consider it a failure. Stealth and deliberate movement are crucial for success. The leopard must make precise choices about its quarry. Yet another failed attempt as the impala remains vigilant. If the leopard successfully hunts, it may not worry about meals for the next two weeks. The prey is still nearby. The leopard's hope persists. Lifting its head to observe carries the risk of detection, but it's the quickest way to identify new potential targets. Suddenly, the leopard launches itself into thin air executing a precise attack at speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour. A lightning-fast, unexpected assault. The chaos subsides, leaving only the bewildered gazes of the Impala herd, still trembling with fear. It's a perfectly executed predatory maneuver, a rare success in the hunter's relentless pursuit. The leopard's hunting strategy depends on location, terrain, and the element of surprise. But how can one catch prey in a place where hiding spots are nearly non-existent? That's the challenge faced by African wild dogs residing in the lands of Zambia. These tightly bonded packs are formed around an alpha female and other loyal members. Unlike solitary leopards, the African wild dogs thrive on group dynamics. During their occasional rest periods, they engage in playful interactions with each other. These activities foster camaraderie and enhance their cooperative abilities. In the vast grassy plains of Africa, the wild dog pack heads straight for the empty field in search of prey. The alpha female decides which direction the entire pack will take. They move in single file behind the lead dog. Covering long distances, they seek out their ideal prey. Fully grown zebras, with powerful hind kicks, pose a significant challenge. Similarly, adult wildebeests, with their large bodies and sharp horns, are no easy targets. A young impala might seem like a reasonable choice, but these agile creatures possess remarkable endurance. 
the pack must exert considerable effort, perhaps reserving their energy for a more suitable prey. And there it is, a young wildebeest calf, the very prey the wild dog pack is seeking. The dogs need to make the wildebeest herd scatter, and their success depends on wearing down the prey's stamina. In a prolonged chase, as the prey flees, the pack gains an advantage. But once the wildebeest herd stops, the situation immediately changes. The African wild dog pack faces numerous pairs of formidable horns. The chase strategy proves ineffective, and the pack's initial decision is thwarted. However, the wild dog herd cannot deplete its energy. The pack quickly reorganizes, and a fresh confrontation begins. The wildebeest, with its substantial size and strength, holds an advantage, but the wild dogs possess endurance and resilience. Now both the hunters and the prey are sprinting at speeds exceeding 50 kilometers per hour. The wild dog pack can maintain this pace for several miles, while the wildebeest calf struggles to keep up. The wildebeest herd splits in different directions, and the remaining individuals also scatter. This division can confuse less experienced predators. The wild dog pack also splits into two different directions, and this mistake diminishes the strength of the entire pack. One group of dogs stops the pursuit. They have surrounded a wildebeest, but their numbers are insufficient to overpower the large wildebeest that stands ready to defend itself. In the other direction, without the assistance of other pack members, the chase remains unsuccessful. The situation becomes precarious, and the wild dogs have wasted precious time. They must regroup swiftly. The lead dog is still pursuing the prey, but it has become fatigued, and the wildebeest senses this. Despite the wildebeest's endurance and resilience, the young, agile legs of the wild dog pack maintain their speed. Whenever some dogs tire, others step forward to lead. Now the pack has enough numbers to gradually exhaust the wildebeest. In this high-speed chase, a collision with the wildebeest's legs could break the dog's jaw. However, this maneuver forces the wildebeest to pause, and the pack must act before they all become exhausted. After minutes of pursuit, the wildebeest's energy seems depleted. All that remains is desperation and the somewhat bewildered gaze of its fellow herd members. At this point, the wildebeest is no longer safe from the relentless pursuit of the wild dogs. Their endurance and patience pay off. All they need to do is bring down their prey. Working as a team allows the wild dog pack to overpower much stronger prey. It's an absolute advantage compared to solitary hunting. However, having many mouths to feed also requires an abundance of food. That's the price they pay for their collective life. Teamwork and resilience provide the key to success on the African savanna. Not all rivers provide regular food sources for predators. Along the Mara River in Tanzania, there resides one of the most patient hunters on Earth. Meet the Nile crocodile, Crocodilus niloticus, a reptile known for its cunning and ferocity, a survivor from the age of dinosaurs. These formidable crocodiles can reach lengths of 7.5 meters, 24.6 feet, and weigh up to 700 kilograms, 1,543 pounds. They are perpetually hungry, and some individuals may have gone without a satisfying meal for up to a year. However, for the crocodiles and other inhabitants of the river, the fish caught by this heron is not their preferred meal. Instead, they await something larger, something that casts its shadow from the horizon. Yet, in this solitary stretch of river, there are no signs of migrating herds just yet. The crocodiles remain in anticipation, their desperation palpable. Even the smaller crocodiles, like this group, wait. But to secure a substantial meal, they still rely on the larger crocodiles. Herds of animals may pass through here in a week or even a month. Not every year do migration herds depart this late. However, at this moment, no herd has crossed the river. The crocodiles must conserve their bodily activities to save whatever energy remains. Finally, the sound they've all been waiting for echoes through the air. 
The migrating herd draws closer to the river. It's time for the crocodiles to position themselves. Every eye fixates on the massive crocodile. Only it possesses the strength to pull down a fully grown wildebeest into the chilling depths of the Mara River. After a long month of waiting, the moment has arrived. After a long journey spanning several months, the first herd of wildebeest dares to plunge down to drink water. On the other side of the river lies lush green grassland awaiting them. These wildebeest know well what awaits beneath the cruel, inviting waters. Their instincts and experience remind them to be cautious. These young wildebeest calves were born during the rainy season and have never witnessed the ferocity and danger that surrounds the riverbanks. The exhausted wildebeest herd must replenish the water they've lost during their arduous journey. They remain vigilant, aware that death lurks beneath the water's surface. Their reflexes must be swift to avoid the deadly jaws of the crocodiles lying in wait. Finally, signs emerge. The wildebeest will cross the river in the next few days, heading toward the grassy plains on the other side. The fierce battle between the crocodiles and these wildebeest will unfold rapidly in the treacherous waters of the Mara River. Another resident of this river stretch is the hippopotamus. Despite their large size, hippos are herbivorous animals and relatively harmless to the herds of wildebeest. A sound splash disrupted the tranquility. The perpetrator of this splash was a massive crocodile. The wildebeest herd, frightened, leapt from the riverbank to higher ground. But now, their fear was outweighed by thirst, and they disregarded everything to plunge back into the water. Once again, capturing a wildebeest was no easy feat for the crocodile. These hoofed creatures were agile and almost instantly reacted to the unexpected strike from the crocodile. Hunting large prey had never been easy for these reptiles. Since their last successful hunt, the crocodiles had few opportunities throughout the year. However, there was still hope. The next two weeks would see a large number of wildebeest crossing the Mara River. It was the perfect time for the hungry crocodiles to fill their bellies. Finally, the moment had arrived. The wildebeest herd began crossing the river to reach the grassy plains on the other side. A precise bite, and the smaller crocodiles immediately closed in. The crocodile pack swiftly tore the prey into pieces. Unable to chew, they clamped down on the meat and spun until it tore apart. Each crocodile claimed its share. Quickly replenishing their energy, they prepared for the next opportunity, which would come next year. Across a vast distance of thousands of kilometers, millions of wildebeest and other species were on their way, chasing the lush, rainy season grasslands. Not only prey species migrate, some predators also embark on fascinating adventures. The Amur falcon is one such intrepid traveler, undertaking one of the longest journeys in the avian world. When prey becomes scarce in their Siberian homeland, these small, resilient birds set out on an epic migration to southern Africa, crossing 14 countries, two continents, and an entire ocean. But it's in a remote valley in northeastern India that they gain an extra boost. Here, the Amur falcons seem to gather strength. A multitude of Amur falcons converge, creating the grandest assembly of hunting birds on the planet. This valley serves as a crucial stopover point on their migratory route. The diminutive raptors won't continue their journey until they've accumulated enough fat reserves for their bodies. The timing is perfect, the valley hosts a feast. For just a few weeks each year, winged termites, of the family Termitidae, emerge from their safe nests. These millions of insects provide a fantastic nutritional supplement. Like a natural gift, the winged termites infuse the Amur falcons with additional energy for their transoceanic voyage. This remarkable journey is the longest undertaken by any bird of prey. To survive this odyssey, the falcons must double their body weight in just two weeks. And to continue their journey to southern Africa, they'll endure a four-month flight. 
For the Amur Falcons, survival means covering a staggering 22,500 kilometers annually throughout their lives. For some animal species, hunting isn't the sole reason for migration. There are even greater challenges that drive them to move. Each year, female humpback whales undertake an incredible journey from their feeding grounds in Antarctica to the beautiful waters off Australia to give birth. These tranquil and warm waters provide the perfect environment for their calves' arrival. However, this perfection is not without its complications, as these same waters are also the territory of killer whales. The killer whales appear as soon as the migration begins. Highly intelligent and agile, they are the most successful marine predators. When hunting, their swimming speed can reach up to 50 km per hour twice as fast as the humpback whale mothers and their calves. The predators approach their targets silently. Up until this point, the humpback whale mothers still believe that the killer whales are innocently swimming alongside them. The killer whales have numerical advantage, but they must also exercise caution. The mother's 5-meter-long tail fin helps protect the baby and causes significant damage. On either side, the mother's flippers shield her, each equipped with sharp barnacles. The humpback whale calf remains carefully guarded in the middle, swimming atop its mother's broad back and safely out of the killer whale's striking range. To separate the mother from young humpback, the killer whales employ their intelligence. They swim in circles, using their powerful bodies to create waves that push the young humpback away from its protective mother. By the time the young humpback is over a month old, it's strong enough to withstand these attacks. It seems the tables have turned, and the odds are currently in favor of humpback whales. A male humpback whale emerges and drives the pod of killer whales away. Facing a colossal adversary weighing up to 40 tons is never an easy feat. The massive bubbles created by the humpback whale serve as a wide barrier, obstructing vision and interfering with the killer whale's echolocation abilities. Now, the hunters find themselves at risk of injury from the humpback's enormous tail fluke. Other humpback whales have also joined in, escorting the mother and calf humpbacks. On an unlucky day, the killer whale pod is forced to retreat. Most hunting expeditions for predators often end in failure. Paradoxically, this makes them some of the hardest working creatures on the planet. The pressure intensifies as their offspring grow. These young ones must hunt relentlessly to satisfy the insatiable stomachs and greedy mouths of their hungry pack.